How's it going everybody? It's another amazing day here in Japan. Today we're going to 7-Eleven, or also known as 7 and I Holdings here in Japan. So let's go check it out. You can see they have all your vitamin needs here. This one right here is an energy drink, stuff like that. Uh, spare masks, uh, cosmetics, you know, like uh, fingernail clippers. By the way, these fingernail clippers, I always buy one of these here because when you clip your nail, it actually goes in there and then you can just dump them off into your uh, trash can. Right behind that, you have the frozen Coke machine. You'll buy one of those. You'll go up front and pay for it. You'll drop a card in there. Coke will come out and it will be at a temperature that when you open the cap and turn it upside down, as described here, it will turn frozen. I will show you that when we are leaving the 7 and I. Uh, umbrellas, it is a little wet out today, so if you need an umbrella, they have them here. Hand cleaners, soaps, magazines, but it's the food and snacks that really shine. Obviously that's not food for us, that's for cats. Kitty cats there, um, there you go. Like, there are just so many different, like this one here is spicy beef soup. Um, and then you can put them in these little cups here. And also spicy beef soup there. Uh, these are all the cup of noodle um, variations and everything here. Uh, obviously, I went to the cup noodle museum before, so that's really cool to see. And you have all your selection there. You have uh, microwavable rice. Yes, that's right, microwavable rice. It comes in a three pack. It's three dollars, and you get three of them. Not bad. You just put them in there already pre-wet. Uh, microwave them. I believe it's like two minutes. And you have rice to go. It's really good, actually, surprisingly. Um, you can see there's just so many different snacks and everything. And this is just the first aisle. <laughs> Look at the name of that one. Consume potato chips. Either way, potato chips, uh, cheese sticks, all kinds of good stuff, popcorn. You can see there's just so many different snacks. Uh, these are the Belgian waffles that I tend to eat when I'm on the go because uh, you can just, they're quick, they, you open the pack, you got six of them, put them in your pocket, put them in your bag. Uh, see, single individual Kit Kats here are 43 cents. They have the Snickers, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that, we have a candy store in town that we get most of our stuff at. ATMs if you need them, and then we're gonna get in some drinks here. You can see we have yeah, Green Melon Fanta is so good. I love that here. That's one of my favorite drinks of all of Japan. Um, besides the cream soda of green melon fan. Oh, that one's really good. It's in a previous video called my vending machine one where I do a vending machine tour of the area. You can see we have a lot of green tea. Of course, my favorite, you got Monster. You got uh, Monster Cola. Coffees, you got Boss Coffee, uh, Tolly's Coffee. Tolly Coffee is really popular here in Japan, surprisingly. Uh, there's Starbucks everywhere too. These are Chew Highs. Not high Chew Candy, but Chew High, and they're out of action alcohol content and this one right here has a nine percent alcohol content uh, i've been told it's been tasted like kool-aid uh you got some wine wine coolers uh the sahi beers stuff like that and then you can get your uh bag of ice uh frozen you can get your pizza i love pizza and it's your ice creams here i actually bought a box of these uh the other day and i ate them all in one sitting <laughs> uh, that was a horrible moment Another famous item here in Japan is the pancakes with maple syrup and what is that margarine in them? And yeah, these these things sell like hotcakes. <laughs> um, yeah, they're very popular here. Uh, you throw them in the microwave for a couple seconds, never too long, and then you eat. Oh, so good! Um, they just recently came out with another model called tiramisu. Very good. I actually not a big tiramisu fan, but those were actually really good. You can see we have alcohols, wines. Um, different uh, like Jameson here like it's uh, ten dollars for that little bottle there uh, you got your sakis and your um, your gins and all that thing uh, you Japanese ma and American versions of alcohol here breads pastries one of my favorites here really easy and simple dollar five and it's three twisted donuts so if you ever just like oh I need a quick snack there you go three twisted donuts now we're gonna get into the good stuff. You have juices, apple juice, orange juice, uh, pineapple juice, green tea juice, juice uh, fruit, like pineapple, obviously love pineapple, so pineapple, apples, kiwi, just everything's available, $1.50, um, cheeses, noodles, little things of meat. Uh, you can see right here, smoke gizzards right there for $2.50. There's just a lot and, and it just keeps going. 
We have a frozen food section right here, right in the middle of the aisle way. You can see again, grilled chicken. Ooh, might get some of that for later. <laughs> we got a grilled chicken here. It's looking at $2.38. Um, yeah, you can see there's all kinds of different varieties. Uh, udon, there you go, udon noodles right there. If you like to make your own salads, they actually sell, you know, salt chicken, chicken uh, bar. These are already good for that. Or if you're just really hungry and you just want to eat chicken breast, there you go. Um, there's just so many options of foods and different selections. I mean, how many 7-Elevens back home have like full on meals like that? Strawberry custard and whipped cream sandwich. You can see right there. Chicken sandwiches, egg salad, and then I'll go ahead and more spaghetti. And everybody's favorite, the rice with uh, fish or, yeah, so this one is tuna with mayonnaise, grilled cur uh, cured red salmon, shrimp and mayonnaise, and these little things, you just rip them open, it'll be full of rice and like whatever it says on there. And then my, one of my favorites, like beef bowl, just little shreds of beef with a bunch of rice in there. And who doesn't like ice cream? There's so many different flavors and variations here. I mean, you even got like a squeeze it style one. And if you want hot food, they do have like um, yakitori style cooking here, uh, buns, and then of course chicken, corn dogs, hash browns, and all those delicious treats. Of course, there's so many other things to point out, like you know, beef sticks, stuff like that, like beef jerky. Um, I got that Coke card, we're about to go do that. Uh, udon hot spot right there, you just go fill it with hot water, you're ready to go. And there's so many other things that I wasn't able to point out, but they are restocking the store right now, so I'm going to leave now. We're gonna get this coat, and then uh, I'll show you how it works. Paid for the card, got this, got that, go here. Dropping it through, and there's the coat. Now let's go outside. And it opened up, because you do not want to open it in the store. The reason you don't want to open the store is obviously carbonated, right? And now it's all shaken up, because you're gonna shake it, like so. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's all crystallized now. Let's see if we pop it one more time. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you can see it's starting to come out the top. It's like a Coca-Cola slushy. Okay. Nothing like a slushy Coke. So we decided to walk two blocks down the way and go to the other 7-Eleven. Like I said, they're very common here. They're all over the place. This one, uh, a little less busy right now. Most of them carry pretty much the same amount of items, the same style of items, as you can see from the previous one. Uh, the store plan or layout is just slightly different. This one definitely has a better candy selection. Um, this is one of my favorite candies in Japan. It's called Dars and they make delicious white chocolate and uh, other chocolates too. Give you a better variety on the sandwich. We got tuna, salad, ham, lettuce, and egg sauce. Uh, ham cut, cabbage, egg salad sauce, pork cutlet sandwich with sauce, and then of course, yeah, it looks like here we just have some rice again. And then, what is that? There's no writing on that one, okay. Um, getting more of those triangles like uh, Bonita Flakes with Broth. Uh, I can't remember what this is, but everybody loves that one. And then um, little sushi rolls right there. And then these meals are insane. Like they're very filling. You can see it actually has the time limits on how long per microwave uh, uh, voltage. They have cups that just have ice in them and for uh, like a dollar you can get them. And they have Mickey on it. Check that out, that's cool. Um, and then the ice, and all the ice is clear. I love clear ice. Getting more ice cream selection. This one over here has uh, lime wedges, lemon, uh, melon. You can see there's a bit of a different variety, but most of them carry the same items. See the big old cabinet of uh, coffees and cold drinks. And then over here, they have the twist top monster cans next to the cola ones. I was trying to find some differences between the two, but I mean, honestly, there's just little things here. Like this one's a little more stocked than the other one, but the truck pulled up to deliver all of it. So it might've came from here, went straight over there. 
but the majority of the stuff in the store is pretty much identical. Something I didn't see at the other store. These are pizza chips and they taste just like a pepperoni pizza. But I think that is it from 7-Eleven. As you can see, there's a huge variety of different foods, drinks, meals, everything. I mean, I, I know people who've come here and literally lived off this place, which is possible because the meals are really delicious. Like, none of that stuff sits there for more than a day. Most of that stuff will come in and go right back out within the day. That's why the delivery trucks come like two, three times a day. So that's it. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel. I love the support. It's free to do. And we're still exploring Japan while we're still here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.